they died. Leave it on. That's a good horn. Uh, can you give me something for this poison ivy? It's killing me. Uh, I've got it on my fingers, too. Take your pants off. Come on, hurry it up. Come on, come on, will you? March 4th, 1925, the big news of the day was the inauguration of Calvin Coolidge as President of the United States. I have my own reason for remembering that date. I was elected, too, to three-month special duty in Brooklyn by Captain Black Jack McCluskey. Brooklyn was in a state. A rat pack of young punks were terrorizing an entire area, heisting, assaulting, four and five jobs a night. They particularly like drugstores, cash, and their name, the Poison Ivy Mob. If we had known one more thing about them, it would have made my job a lot easier. Harry Schultz, alias Harry the Horse, three-time loser, sick with TB, and dangerous as only a man who has nothing to lose can be. I hadn't had the pleasure of meeting him yet, but. Since he was the Rat Pack number one man, I thought I should. My name's Barney Roditsky, 20 years detective, police department, city of New York, on temporary duty to the 62nd Precinct, Brooklyn. Assignment, catch a pack of rats. Simple, maybe. How? First step, talk to a pigeon. Buy yourself a kishka. Thanks, Harry. Say, Reditsky's in Brooklyn sniffing around. Says he wants to talk to you. I'll bet he would. You let the word on the street that if he don't get out of Brooklyn, I'm gonna cut his greasy heart out. Tell him I'll pay for the subway. But not for the funeral. is no good. Uh, <laughs> ding -a ling <laughs> There's nothing wrong with rich guys that money doesn't cure. Yeah, well, you guys are gonna laugh out of the other side of your face, I'm telling you. That rich sister's goofy. Hey, you goofy ding -a ling But you eat money, you hear bells right now. Push me. <laughs> Go ahead, push me. <laughs> ah, Jaeger goes with us for laughs. Laughs? Banana oil. Kicks. That's what he gets. Laughing at us, he gets kicks. Did you see the expression on a pill fender's face? <laughs> oh, laugh. I thought I would split. What'd you split, your girdle? <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I'll show you what I'll split. I'll let him go. I want to see if his blood's blue. Yeah. Let him go. Hi, right, you. shut up. Uh, Harry's going to walk in. Uh, Harry's not gonna walk in. Oh, a mind reader, too. Maybe you're telling Harry what to do, huh? Hey, Maybe? Hey, 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 hey. hey. Yeah. 
What do you mean he's not coming? I see him on his way out, and he says for you to wait for him in the dormitory tonight. He's going to Polly's. Oh. So what's news about that? Harry says for us to sit tight. Ruditsky's in Brooklyn, maybe after us. Ruditsky? Hey, Ruditsky, big shot detective. Hey, we're getting up in the world, huh? Hey, Ruditsky. <coughs> I don't like. Well, what are you afraid of, Izzy? If he gets on our back? Then Harry will do what the big shots in New York and Jersey are scared to do. What do you mean, kill a cop? Yeah. Hey, you think he would? Sure. Harry's a three-time loser. What's he got to lose? Lose. <laughs> I want to see Polly. Polly? What do you want with Polly? I ain't saying she's here, but if she was, what do you want with her? I'm a friend of hers. You look like a cop to me. Right again. Listen, you open that gin-soaked mouth of yours, and I'll run you in for distilling. You get enough bathtub stuff on the premises, send you up for five years. A copper, a stinking copper! Save the blonde, where is she? Who are you talking about? Listen, don't get cute with me now. I'll run you in. Ah, you're the smart one. You know everything. Ludzicki! Why don't you stay out of the way, you hear? I'm gonna give him a dose of lead poison. Harry, Harry, please don't kill him here. They'll burn me. Oh, baby. For you, he gets a reprieve. But if he gets rough, scratch your head, and I'll cure the itch. What do you want? Polly! What do you want? Polly Radetzky. Radetzky, what are you doing in Flatbush? Yeah, come on, open up. I want to talk to you. I'm in bed now. Look me up some other time, huh? No, not some other time. Right now. Now open it up or I'll break in the door. Now go ahead. Break in. I'm in bed and naked. But you go ahead. Break in. I'll yell. Start yelling. Get out, copper. Why don't you look under the blanket? You know what I'm looking for. Where is he? My dad's in Sing Sing. I know. I sat him there. And you keep it up, you're going to wind up in Bedford. What do you got, a crystal ball? Where's Harry the horse? What are you asking me? You're the fortune teller. Now, look, Polly, don't patsy with me. I know. I know you're his chum. Get out, you no good flat foot while you're still breathing. You're gonna get everything you deserve, and it's too bad, too, because you're not a dumb kid. You finished high school, you had a chance to get off the street. Save your breath, Radisky. If you got brains, you'll beat it. Where's Harry? He want me to book you on vacancy. Go ahead, pull the blanket. The judge will give you a cooling. There's laws protecting women from men like you. But go ahead, touch me. You don't deserve a break. I hadn't promised your mother that Oh, I'd... that's how you found me, huh? My old lady blabbered. What, did you give her a fin to talk, or did she cry that malarkey? Please, Mr. Raditsky, you gotta do something for my baby. She's a bad girl. She takes after that no good But you only it is a good patching that you won't forget. Go ahead. Slap me. You haven't got the guts. Next time I catch up with you, I'm gonna take you in. On what charge? Vagrancy. And it wouldn't hurt for the health department to take a look at you.
You're going to be all right, baby. Wait and see. You're going to be all right. Oh, oh the dirty rats. Oh, the coppers. The rats, that's what they are. Take your hands off me, you old hag. Okay, Buster, I got carried away. I ought to know them better. Ah, they're all alike. What's that? Nothing, Buster. Skip it. Where are you going? Oh, for crying out loud, Harry, a time like this, you picked a fight. Shut up. Go get Lippy. And you ain't leaving. Lippy, Harry, you need a doc. He learned it up in Sing Sing Infirmary. Okay, Harry, it's your funeral. And it'll be yours, too, so don't get any ideas, baby. Remember that. You don't trust no one, do you, Harry? No. Not even himself. That one. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so you're thinking like you're Harry the Horse. What's your next system? Reading bumps on heads? Captain, I bet you ten years psychology is an important part of crime deduction. Oh, sure. Like the joker who claims he's got a machine that'll tell you when a guy's lying. You gotta keep an open mind. All right, all right. It's open. When do you figure to nail Harry the horse? Well, I'm Harry, see? And I figure in a snappy bunch of young punks in Brooklyn who will eat grass if I tell them to eat grass. So tell them to knock over a couple of drugstores. Which one's tonight? Well, I'm Harry. I get the word that Ruditsky's in Brooklyn to knock over my mob. So? So I want to make him look like a jerk. That's your problem. But if you don't nab this mob after all the trouble I went to with the commissioner to get you transferred here, I look like the jerk. So I give an order to the punks, go play pot cheesy, no jobs, no leads. Roditsky looks like a fool. Come on, Barney, talk sense. What'll I do to pass the time while I'm laughing at Roditsky? Pot cheesy? Polly. We're right back where we started. My system never fails. Where are you going? Back to Polly. <laughs> Hold it now. This bull's going to hurt worse than that. <laughs> How do I get the plaster on? He's going to need trained attention. Yeah, well, I'll give him whatever he needs. Yeah, he may not walk right again. Harry wants to walk right, he'll walk right, I know. Yeah, well, I know gangrene. Who asked you? Just doing my job, honey, just doing my job. Yeah, well, you call me honey again, and I'll put your head in that plaster. Roditsky. I want Roditsky. I want Roditsky. Tell the boys. Tell him, yeah, tell him, honey, Roditsky. Nobody gets him. Tell him. Tell him. Hey, baby, easy. in advance. You know all the answers? Gonna try me? I have to beat her up to get rid of her? Zero. Why the uh, plaster of Paris fix up the cracks in the walls? <laughs> Two more hits and you get a cigar. <laughs> Listen, you old hag, you know something and you're gonna tell me. Harry called me that too. I'll fix him now. You all take care of later. Harry was here? Yeah, what was left of him. Harry, Polly, and the pill pusher. We had a party. <laughs> we patched up Harry. <laughs> Smart copper. I'll get even with you. What? You don't know a cat from a rat. Come on. <laughs> well, 
She got even with Harry for calling her an old hag. She told me the whole story. She even got even with me for calling her an old hag. She pointed out how I had him under my nose and let him get away because I couldn't tell a cat from a rat, the old hag. She was right on one other count, too. Harry went into a hole to lick his wounds, took his mob undercover with him. In Brooklyn, when it's quiet, you worry. So, I worried. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, what else? Sure. That's great. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, gotcha. Thanks. Hey, Polly says he's getting up tomorrow. Hey! hey. 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 Like a hundred years. I began to feel Harry liked it on his back. What, yeah. what, what? So terrible to hold up with a girl like Polly taking care oh, of you? Yeah. Huh? Hey, if I had to hear you guys beef another day, I would have gone home to me. Hey, I bet Harry feels back, like he was in stir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, we ought to give him the special treatment. What do you mean? Like a homecoming. Well, we ought to give him a dingling party. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Where are we going to get the dough? I mean, we got enough for groceries, but for a shindig, no. Yeah, well, what are we going to do? Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. I know what we can do. Let's, let's pull a special job for Harry. Yeah. 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 That'll yeah. give him a yeah. Hey, ah. that'll give him a real jolt. Put Harry back on his pins. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, keep your yaps closed. I mean, this got to be a surprise. Yeah. That's half the kicks. Huh? Ah. Come on, let's go. <laughs> my wallet with my kids' pictures in it. Please, Miss... Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, up in your own business? Uh, can't that guy have a laugh? Come on, move! If you want to make speeches, I get your soapbox at the bats. Come on, let's go, let's go. What? Where? All right, hold him there, huh? Yeah, I'm on my way. Right. Will you uh, tell me just exactly what you heard? Well, well, I was on my way to work. I'm a manager at the Gordon Shoe Factory. Yes, uh, fine. Well, the officer got that in his report, didn't he? Yeah. All right, now just spare yourself and tell me exactly what was said. I'll see you at the baths. That's all? Yeah, that's all I heard, and then they stopped talking. Tell me again. I'll speak to you at the baths. Oh, wait a minute. First you said, see at the Bears. Now you say, speak to you at the Bears. Uh, which was it? What's the difference? See, say, speak. You all sound alike. What's the difference? See, speak, schmeek, scheme. Turkish, Russian, Swedish. After three months plus, I had a big lead. A man with somebody else's pants draped over his head heard something about Bears. Before even looking, I figured the baths could number hundreds in each borough, times five. 
big lead. Captain McCluskey said, cover them. What do you got to lose? And don't tell me you don't need a bath. Everybody needs to sweat a bit. It'll be good for you. Just what you need. Yeah, maybe. But not five times a day. Kids play a game of hide and seek. One tells the other that you're getting closer. Closer. You're hot. You're warm. You're cold. Hotter. That's me. I didn't need anybody to tell me I was hot. Hot, I knew. What I wanted to know was whether I was getting closer or getting dehydrated for nothing. He says, what's a big surprise? His wife says the boys would like you should let us tell you in poison. I pity you guys. These seats are reserved. Come on, come on. Come on. Wait till you hear about how he picked up 300 bucks. Say, that guy had to be a crook. Nobody legit carries that kind of cabbage. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, Dingling, are you sure he said the night? Oh, sure, I'm sure. What do you think? Well, listen, we'll be good here. It's going to be some surprise. <laughs> I ain't had a laugh like this since the last job. Yeah. <laughs> He's well enough to come over. We timed the job perfect. Hey, you guys better tighten your lip. We're not alone. Hey. Park Avenue, I'm tired of you telling me to shut up. Yeah. Ah, come on, hey. come on, both of you. Hey, who's going to tell the horse about the party? Oh, you tell well, Hi, boys, you're under arrest. Now, get any ideas. Uh, Dirty Seamus. You got nothing on us. You must be yeah. mistaken, officer. You know who I am? Yeah, <laughs> he must be a cop. He's got flat feet. <laughs> what, are you kidding, man? <laughs> hey, where's your badge? You're supposed to be a big cop. Who's your badge? How do we know you're a uh, cop? You got no badge. <laughs> yeah, that's hey, right. hey, what are you sweating for? You scared? You know, with no badge, you ain't legal. The name is Rudetsky, and if you want a personal introduction, just try something. Come on out, boys. Well. Glad you showed, Harry. We've been waiting for you. Get over there. Oh, uh, uh, blow me a neck, will you, Harry? Harry, oh. be careful. You're gonna wind up with both of your legs back in a plastic cast. Then we'll have a novel tough job strapping you into the chair. Now be a good sport and give me that nickel you promised to get me out of Brooklyn. Drop your sheets and towels. All of you. And you like it? A little dose of your own medicine. A little drafty? Spring 3 100. Uh, official police, Roditsky, 936. Thank you. Yeah, Roditsky, send a wagon over to Pitkin Avenue Baths, will you? We got some boys who want a little surprise party, so we're gonna give them one. Harry the horse tried to jump out of a window at the prison hospital. If he hadn't already been crippled, he might have made it. He died in the prison hospital. He was right about one thing. He had nothing to lose. The rest of the punks copped tens and twenties and graduated too late to enjoy the rest of that hysterical period known as the lawless years. Don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today.